Hi guys, it's Alicia here with my work basket. It is getting into the fun, festive time of the year with Christmas and all of the decorating and crafts that it entails. Today, that is what my video is about. I'm going to show you a fun Christmas craft that you can do. There is also, this is part of a hop, so there are a total of 20 DIY craft ideas you can get by following through the list of videos. There will be another video in my description box that you can follow to them, and they all go in order. It is going to be all kinds of stuff. We have wall art, we have ornaments, we just all kinds of Christmas decor. All DIY that you can do yourself. And my item is placemats. placements. So my design was a stocking pattern and I'm going to tell you this pattern is, you can draw it out yourself, you can trace things. It is also available on my website for sale. It is my first pattern release. I'm very excited. But you get the stocking pattern and all the different decoration pieces. I'm super excited about it. So my family has a stocking tradition where we have a been full of stockings. My family of three probably has 20 or 30 stockings easily. And for Christmas, you pick which stocking you want to use. We have big ones, we have small ones, we have velvety ones, we have felt, you know, we just have like this huge array of stockings. And so I decided to keep that going with my placements this year. And I designed these stocking patterns. And also, you may notice my placement goes this way, which is not exactly common. I don't know if this happens to you. But especially with my son, you put your plate down and then the regular place about your cup's like right here. It's such close proximity. And to me, it's always just asking for a problem. So we always put our cups up off of the placemat. And I was like, what if the placemats go the opposite direction? So a plate fits here. If it's a pretty large size plate, you can put your stuff next to it or in a napkin on top of it, your cup. And then your cup is farther away and not at risk of getting spilled on everything else. It's more kind of out of the close proximity that placemats usually give. The total size of these, it's about 12 inches this way. I forgot to actually measure this way. 12, about 13, 14, about 15. So it's about 12 by 15 inches total. The stocking pattern can also make a stocking. So this one is a red stocking with a cuff and snowman. To keep the tradition of my family's stocking variations, all of my placemats are different. This one has the gingerbread house with the snowman. So what I did for my personal ones was I just used Wonder Under. Um, I may go back in and sew them down. I may not. I may make others where they're sewn down, but I just use like a fusible web to fuse mine. You could sew them. You could applique them. You could quilt them down. The, the, it's versatile. Do the craft level that you're comfortable with. This one is nice and simple, but it's actually one of my favorites. So you can do it a variety of ways. Like I said, I just did mine with Wonder Under. We're not huge placemat people, so mine will probably only be out like at Christmas dinner. And I figured Wonder Under is enough to take that. And I may, like I said, I may, I may sew it up between now and then. I may not. Uh, this one's one of my favorites with the gingerbread house and the stars. Stocking with hearts. That There's a line, it's from the one below it, so... This one is another one of my favorites. This has the coffee cup. The coffee cup is two layers here. One trick with your placemats is make sure you don't use anything too thick. I just did a variety of Christmassy type fabrics, ironed on the fusible web and kind of went at it. But I made sure that all of them were relatively thin. So even felt, which can be kind of thick, will kind of iron down sort of flat. Otherwise, your plate will be all like wibbly wobbly. So if you don't just use all cottons or whatever, or just all felts, just make sure that whatever you use doesn't create so much like bumps and rises with your appliques that it's unstable. This is probably the highest texture on any of mine. I put a plate on here for photos and it works great. Um, so my jingle bells are felt and my background is just a white felt. So my fabrics are combinations of felt and cottons and mystery fabrics that I got that hold up to an iron. That's all I know about them. Um, I bought them as scraps. So this fabric, I got a bunch of it in yardage used. I have no idea what it is. I think it might be cotton, cotton poly blend, but I know it didn't melt. So that's how I made my placemats. 
they I'm in love with them I trimmed all of my edges with pinking shears totally optional I just I don't know I wanted to now the neat thing about the pattern is that if you purchase the actual pattern you get the stockings you get all the different decorations and the decorations can be used for other stuff and since I was making placemats I made the cutest little mug rug isn't that adorable so this is just two layers of felt that I used Wonder Under to hook together. I need to, oop, I need to pull out my iron again. My coffee bean is not very well secured. I made these little coffee beans, the coffee cup with the star, and I love it. So the pattern is versatile, versatile. The placemats are versatile. I hope this gives you some great ideas. I hope you love it. I hope that you enjoy the other videos in this hop. I don't really know what else I could say. They're placemats. They're great placemats. If I skipped anything, let me know. But ultimately, I just took a variety of Christmas fabrics or things that were Christmassy enough, like this black and white. I ironed fusible web to the back. I traced all my shapes kind of willy-nilly, honestly. I wanted six placemats, so I made sure I cut six stockings. But all the toppers, I just drew out randomly and kind of decided as I went. So I was like, oh, there's more space on this yellow. What could be yellow? So I made six placemats. There's all kinds of other videos in the vlog hop. I love the placemats. I think every time I look at them, I have a different favorite, which goes kind of with my family tradition of picking the stocking. So as we sit down for Christmas dinner or the morning of Christmas or whatever, we can pick our Christmas placemat the same way that we pick our Christmas stocking. They're stacked up all willy nilly, but I promise you they are darn close to the same size so that is it guys i thank you for watching i hope you enjoy my placement pattern all of these shapes you can draw them out yourself but if you'd like to purchase my pattern it is available at myworkbasket.com and it is on sale right now for black friday in 2021 it's got a couple days where it's going to be on sale and you get the stockings and all the different accoutrements and decorations including things that i don't think actually showed up on the placemats there's more than what you really end up seeing i believe so that is that guys thank you for watching i hope you have a great festive season i hope you have happy holidays and merry christmas and i thank you for watching and i'll talk to you later bye